Hello, 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 guys. Danny Moon here. Call me what you want as long as it's respectful. You know my intro. Um, Capricorns, this is for my cappies. This is for my cappies. And I must say that I just did, um, I just did like a, I just was talking to spirit and asked spirit to send me y'all's energy. And um, they just want me to channel today. I am using cards. So if the cards do not resonate with every Capricorn in the world, then just give it back to the universe. But m most of this is going to be channeling um, because um, it's all about business with y'all. It's all about work with y'all. I hear it out. I hear it in my head and I see it. This is what my spirit guides are telling me that it's really all about work with y'all um, and business ventures and investments and looking at venues. And um, it's really all about like right now I'm seeing like money raining down, like, you know, not saying that that is the case for y'all, but saying that that is where your mindset is at. Um, so the first card out is trust and spirit really wants you to trust in your of course trust in the lord trust in god um but trust in your spirit guides they really want to enhance that right now with me they're telling me to to tell you to trust in your spirit guides that inner voice that you hear um those those little things that you those little nudges that the universe is giving you your spirit guides are right near you, okay? Um, so they want you to trust. I even picked up my, um, I picked up my other deck, my tarot deck, and they told me, no, put that down. They wanted me to start with this deck and they wanted me to channel. So here we go. Um, energy is fluid, so this could be the past, the present or the future energy. Um, I do feel like a lot of this is going to be future because I feel like a lot of you are either making plans, writing your um, intentions down, um, um, meeting with investors, meeting with partners. Um, I feel like this this it's in the it's in the work it's in the mix capricorns it's in the work it's in the mix and for some of you it's just um feelings it's coming into your mind ideas you know spirit is really like saying like this is your this is your year this is your year um i must say and i don't say that to a lot of the zodiacs i know i've said that to um I don't think I said that to anyone, but I know right now, Libras, it's our year too. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I'm a Libra. Bottom of the deck, they telling me, see, they just told me, look at the bottom of the deck. Within the next few weeks, something, and this could be for several Capricorns or maybe one Capricorn, but you, whoever I'm talking to, it's something with a deal, like you 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 just came to turn, just did something with a deal. Maybe signed a contract, or you're looking at a contract. Um, something is going on that is going to something good is happening, and something is going to start within the next few weeks. Something that I feel like you just signed off on. Um, and if you didn't sign off on it, it's almost like you just looked at something and you knew like, okay, this was it and it's going to happen for you in the next few weeks. So congrats to that. Cause, and they, they're telling me that there will be some stumbles in the road, but they're saying, just push through it. They're going to guide you through it. They, they're really harping on you knowing that your spirit guides are with you right now because they know that y'all are taking leaps of faith and y'all are um, just diving into, I must say this is a message for a couple of people. Some of you are diving into a world that you've never been in. Some of you are diving into like an industry or some type of passion or work that you never really dived into that you probably always wanted to but never did but whatever it is it's going to happen for you in the next few weeks you're going to see something you're going to sign something um 
You're going to meet someone. You're going to be shaking hands. Um, this is what I'm seeing. This is what my spirit guides are telling me to tell you. So please be prepared. And when I say prepared, I don't know. They're showing me like a business suit. You don't have to wear a business suit, but they're trying to tell me to tell you, be prepared from head to toe. When this happens, when you meet someone or sign something or know something, in a couple of weeks, be prepared with clothing, with makeup, um, with what you're going to say, write it down, get, get enough sleep. Like they're really harping on being prepared from head to toe. Okay. Um, what else? What else spirit? What else? Trust it. Yes. Thank you. Spirit. Trust in your spirit. God, y'all recovery, recovery. I don't know who this Capricorn, what this goes out to. You could be, Spirit, can you give me more? Recovering from a bad business deal. Somebody must be recovering from a bad business deal. But it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Um, this is why the message came out. Um. Okay, some for some Capricorns, this has to do with a hospital, so... Maybe um, someone was in the hospital and now they're about to come out the hospital, but recovery is on the horizon. If you're sick, if you have a cold, recovery is on the horizon. Um, they're, they're telling me a husband, if a husband is sick, or if a husband is had a bad deal, a venture deal, or something with business, it didn't go too well for the husband. Or if the husband is sick, recovery is on the horizon. So um, that is super great. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else for the Cappies? They're saying like these ideas for the people who are just having the ideas. They're saying these ideas are relevant, that the world needs them. Um, the world, and it goes along with this card that they told me to pick. And the reason I said that they told me to pick, the deck was, I just shuffled a little bit. The deck was like this. I went for this card, but then they guided me to pick this card. So that's what, how I got this card. So they're saying these ideas that you're having that are just ideas and you're doubting yourself. You don't know if you have enough money to do it. You don't know if you have the resources to do it. They're saying that you do. They're saying you do. They're saying you, um, you need to start with asking for help. Ask for, ask for help from others. Um, so I am guiding to tell you they are guiding me to tell you to go along with your idea to go along that they're, they're showing me a ladder keep climbing the ladder do not doubt yourself and do not think um do not think that you can't do it but they want you to know you you probably cannot do this on your own um, they say you have the resources you have the people to ask but do not let your pride don't let your pride stand in between you asking people. Do not let your, you think people are going to think you're crazy or, or your pride stand in the middle of you asking for help because they're saying that that is going to be, I don't know why they're saying secret touch. That's going to be the secret touch, whatever that is. I don't know. My spirit guides are, they're, they're crazy. <laughs> Um, but they do know what they're talking about. And they said for the Capricorns, if you have an idea, these are for the people who didn't really start a business venture yet, but they have the idea and they want to, they, their, their intuition is strong. Their feeling for it is strong. They want to do it, but they don't know where to start. They're saying, ask for help. There, there has to be a business partner a friend, someone that can help you get this idea off the ground. And if they can help you get your idea off the ground, they can at least give you suggestions. They will help you. It will, um, it will turn out really good. They're saying like, but you have to put forth the effort. You can't just have the idea and do nothing with it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> All right, they're saying that they want me to, meditation brings answers. 
meditation brings answers if you're looking for can i get two more spirit guides please um if you're looking for answers when it comes to any of these ideas any of these creative ideas that you have meditate y'all i don't care if you start with a five minute meditation meditate 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 <laughs> meditate brings the answers that is so true i had um i had a i did a meditation today i did a 10 minute meditation and i opened my eyes because I was looking out of my room window and I thought I messed my meditation up, but I actually didn't because your spirit guide, the universe, God, whoever you want to call it, your God, your spirit, your whatever, whatever you believe in, they want you to connect with earth. They want you to connect with Gaia, mother Gaia, which is looking at a tree. You could look at a tree. You, you could go um, stand outside barefoot just for five minutes three minutes and before you hit me with it's cold out here I understand that it's cold this is why I just looked out the window I didn't take my socks off and stand outside but spirit is trying to tell me to really to tell you to meditate and um you'll get a lot of more either you'll get a lot more ideas or a lot more um like creative spark that's what they're telling me a, a, a creative spark if you meditate more can I get two more out of this deck please spirit they want me to move to the other deck, but I just feel like there's two more cards and I feel like the yes card needs to come out. I really do feel like the yes card needs to come out. And now they're telling me yes, but I don't know what they're, what they're referring to. I don't know what they're referring to. And it's funny, I just um I just pulled out the um romance card and I put it back in the deck. But before I started shuffling, they wanted me to move on and they said move on to love. So I'm gonna move on to love. Um I need one more card out this deck. I really need that yes card to come out for some reason. <clears throat> Look, improving health. Improving health that goes along with the recovery card, okay? That goes along with the recovery card. So, something with somebody's daughter out there. I'm trying to catch what the spirit is trying to tell me, but something's going on with, with a Capricorn's daughter out there. Um... They're feeling, they're feeling some type of way. Um, the daughter is feeling some type of way. Um, and this stems from, this could be a, a, a not quite teenager daughter, maybe 10 and up. And this also has to do with like an older daughter. Some type of frustration or madness. And obviously, if it's for a younger kid and an older kid, it's different messages. So um, something with a job, maybe the daughter just got a job or a job she didn't like or a job maybe cut her hours or something. Or abundance, <laughs> maybe, maybe this abundance, maybe something with the daughter is getting, they're getting abundance. That shouldn't be frustration at all. I don't know what this has to do with, but maybe the daughter got a job or something like that. Or maybe, you know, someone who has a daughter who got a job or something like that. Right before this came out, my spirit God said to slow down and listen to what they're saying. So obviously... I must not be listening to what they're saying. They're sa now they're saying to me, this is why we wanted you to channel. They didn't want me to use so many cards. All right, spirit. I, I got it. Um... I think what they're saying with a daughter is that maybe she has a, a job or someone out there, Capricorn, has a job. 
they don't really like the job, but it comes with a lot of benefits and maybe the job pays well. And whatever they're saying, the spirit is telling me to tell you or to tell them to be patient and give it a chance. You will eventually like this job or this transaction. I don't know why I said that if it's a transaction or it's a, if it's a business deal, you will eventually end up abundant and happy with whatever choice you made. That's it, okay? <laughs> There's a business deal that might go south that is, uh, this, they said, that is about to go south. I don't know what that means. Maybe you're moving to the south or maybe it's going to go wrong. You know how they say it's it's going south. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they're trying to say to, um, ooh, they're trying to say reconsider. Reconsider whatever that proposal was or that whatever that deal was or or is. It, it, they, they're saying that they're telling you, they're saying that your spirit guides are telling you that your intuition is flaring up on whatever deal this was. If it didn't feel right or if it's not right, they're telling you to reconsider your answer or your reconsider whatever you thought about for you to reconsider it. Reconsider it because you need to take a different approach or a different direction. Now, I saw in the near future, I saw this twice. I, it didn't come out the deck, but it was on the bottom of the deck twice after I shoveled. So after I shuffled. Whew, this retrograde is over, thank God, but it's still like dwindling. You know, when there's a retrograde, you can't speak right. No communication goes right. Everything goes left. Like, I'm glad it's over, <laughs> okay? Um... Okay, they're just telling me to move on, move on. That's what they're saying, move on. All right, Cappies, what else? What do we have? They Okay, they want me to go to one dance, but one, see what I mean? <laughs> they want me to go to this psychic tarot deck. But now they told me to pick up the romance deck. So I'm going to use them both. To what they're clapping, they're saying congratulations to these new ventures and business deals that you are embarking on because they're gonna go very well. They said, Do not um, be nervous or scared, your spirit guides are with you. Um, they're saying your grandmother is with you. For anybody out there who who their grandmother transitioned, your grandmother is watching you, over you, standing right beside you. Um, they're telling me that she's whispering in your ear, like everything's going to be okay. You're going to be able to do this. Don't be nervous. Don't second guess yourself because they're saying that is what's going to make the deal go south. Oh, maybe that's not what that means. If you keep doubting yourself and if you keep thinking, putting it on the back burner or keep saying, oh, we'll get to it or we'll do it next week. They're saying if you keep delaying, delays, delays, if you keep delaying, things will go south. But if you keep going on with what you're doing, looking into stuff, researching, finding a place, um, talk networking um they're saying that once you continue to do that things will just go things will keep ride the wave they're saying ride the wave they're saying things will go great they want me to start with this romance deck seriously so okay um capricorns they're telling me now that you need to be more spontaneous with your spouse if you are if you are in a relationship And singles, they're saying you need to be more spontaneous with yourself. They're saying that um, for the for the singles, they're saying like you need to put yourself out there. They're saying you're really in diving into work, and your your work situation is good. But they're saying like they're saying like you're not out there. You're not like um, internet dating or 
when you go out shopping to the stores or supermarkets, department stores, you're not looking for no one. You're not trying to put yourself out there. So spirit is saying like, if you don't put yourself out there, they can't really send you anyone. And they're also saying that someone is, they have someone ready. They have someone, I know this is crazy. These messages just come in. They come in and they come in quickly. They're telling me to calm down. <laughs> Okay, if there is, and I'm sure there's many Capricorns out there who are single and you're looking for love, Spirit says that the divine, um, the universe, God, they have someone for you. Um, but they're saying that you're not, you're not focused. Like you're not, I guess you're not focused on love right now. Um, but they're saying, to, telling me to tell you to open your heart chakra. They're saying right under your nose. That's what they're saying. They're saying he's right, he or she. They said he, but he or she is right under your nose. Take a leap of faith. Uh, um, that, 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 that giving me the information that you might know that this person likes you, but you one are not in that mind space i guess you're not putting yourself out there you're not thinking about love and two you're not even thinking about that person like why are you like me but they're saying to take a leap of faith on this person they're saying um a, they're saying they're saying you and this person are very attractive um oh you might work together so th that's what they're saying that you might work together and maybe you don't want to mix work with pleasure or something but they whatever they're saying for the singles take a leap of faith that the person or the person is they have for you and they're right up under your nose that's what they keep showing me like this right up under your nose um and then for the singles who are just single and you don't you're not working with someone who might like you or whatever they're saying put yourself out there they're saying like you're they're telling me hidden like you're hidden like you're hidden from the world um on, and and they're saying see your beauty see your beauty they want you to see your beauty um okay i'm just giving you what they're telling me for the singles See your beauty, not through makeup, not through a business deal. They want you to see you for your authentic self, for who you really are. You are beautiful and you need to let other people see that. They also say that you have gifts, like you have gifts. What kind of gifts, Spirit? Like, I know they're not saying rapping, like... They're saying rapping, but you can, maybe you're a rapper or maybe you know how to rap gifts or, and now they're saying tarot. So maybe you have these abilities, which everyone in the world has these abilities, but maybe they're saying you're starting to tap into these abilities and maybe you want to be a tarotist, um, which is fine. I, I want more and more people need to be giving these messages. So um, email me at moondanny1976 at gmail.com if you want to know about the tarot or if you want to know how to go about like doing a YouTube channel or on more tarot decks or something like that because th this is what they're this is what spirit is pushing to me um for for my couples they just want you to be more freaky <laughs> they really need you to come out of your shell um they really want you to surprise your spouse they want you to surprise your spouse with a dinner with um like a sexy dinner you know um me and spirit wants to tell you like a, a spontaneous to go out but we know how you know this world is right now and it's hard to go out but they're saying there's so much you could do at, at in, your, in your home. You know what I'm saying? Um, Spirit, can you give me some... Can you give me some cards, please? <laughs> they said what I was doing with channeling was fine. They're saying I don't need any cards. The audience needs cards. You, Some of you out there like to see the cards. So... Um, Spirit, can you please take out some cards for whoever needs to see them?
Thank you, Spirit. All right. Um, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Enjoy the moment that you're in. Enjoy the moment. Yes, if you are alone, enjoy the moment of being alone. Sometimes people need to be alone because they need to be within their own thoughts and they need to smell the roses like this lady's doing. But sometimes when you are alone and you're outside and you're shopping or you're doing this or you're doing that, take a look to the left or to the right because somebody could be out there looking at you. You wouldn't even notice. Some, some of you think that no one is even looking at you. And you're wrong. <laughs> you are wrong. And they're showing me the, the Page of Swords card, which is um, somebody's like watching you over social media or um, they're watching you from afar, not in a creepy way. They just think you're so adorable. They, so, they think you're adorable. Um, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. That goes along right with what I said. If you know someone is looking at you or watching you, um, why don't you make the go ahead and make the romantic gesture? It doesn't have to be like jump into bed with me. It could be like, let's go to lunch. You know what I mean? Make the romantic gesture and it will come your way. The, the universe is telling me that they're waiting for you. My spirit guides is telling me that, but I see the universe is like waiting for you. Tap like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're waiting for you to make the first move. Like, so Cappies, you have to make that move, okay? Um, again, for my couples though, they, they don't really have a really big message for y'all. They want y'all to be spontaneous with your um, spouse. They... Um, Work has gotten away. Daily life has gotten away. Kids gotten away. And so, okay, okay. You know, I get all clustered with my words. The romance is there with the, the romance is there. The little kisses while you walk by is there. Even making love is there, but they want you to spark it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, let your... Um, I'm reading the card. Sorry. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Well, this goes along with the cappies with, remember I took out from the other deck, ask for help. Um, so this goes along with that, that joint venture or, uh, not the joint venture. I'm sorry. With, um, you have in the ideas, but you need to ask for help from your friends, from family, from um, people you work with. You know, you don't have to tell them your whole idea if you don't, if that's what you're, you know, some people are worried, like, I don't want to put my stuff out there, but you need help. So ask for help. Okay. Um, Capricorns, again, with these couples, if you're, um, I was telling you like the romance is there a little bit, but it's kind of like dwindling away because of your daily life. Do you see how I'm shining? It is beaming in this house. That's because I be so cold all the time. Um, they're saying to spark it up, um, be spontaneous. I don't know. They're showing me like, they're showing me like a sexy lingerie outfit. So maybe they want you to put that on for your spouse. Okay. Um, and guys, if there's some guys out there, Capricorns, um, maybe some sexy boxers. I don't know. <laughs> They're not, I tell you, these spirit guys, they don't give me whole paragraphs, okay? They don't tell you exactly what to do. They, they just, they're hinting to you that you need some spark in your um, love life. Um, thank you, spirit. Um, it's time to disconnect from the world and retreat. Maybe, um... Maybe the the couples, the Capricorn couples, you it's time for you to go on a vacation. Okay, it's time for you to go. And I feel that some of you are going on a vacation. Um, yes, I'm feeling that some of you are going on a vacation. But they're trying to tell me to tell you, you need to make it about y'all, like make it about, I feel like you're going on vacation and you're making it maybe about business or maybe it's about something else. But spirit is trying to tell me, 
take take a few moments or a few days to just spend with your spouse. Make it romantic. Make it do it up, okay? It's going to be a trip of a lifetime if you do that, you and your spouse. Maybe um if you're going to be in a hotel, make it like a romantic, you have someone set up a nice like a romantic setup while y'all are at dinner or something. They're just saying shoes, smooze it, smooze it, smooze it, kid. Make it better. Um Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So here we go. Here we go. This could be for another set of Capricorns. They don't want you to, and now they're showing me like the other side is greener. They, they don't want you to feel that the outside world or dating someone else or breaking up is an option. They want you to work on your relationship. Um Maybe, maybe the people who are going on a trip, maybe y'all are having rocky a rocky time and maybe this trip will make it better for you i don't know apply it to your life but if you're having some a rocky relationship out there remember that's exactly what it is it's rocky but that's what relationships are about ups and downs spirit is telling me to tell you work on your relationship put as much effort that you're putting into work put it into your relationship so that it can get better okay do not think that the grass is greener do not think something is better because spirit is saying that is not the direction that you need to take you need to communicate and work on the relationship that you are in um, everybody, please press like, press this like video and please subscribe um, because I need these messages to get out to the, all the other Capricorns who don't see this video. Um, so please press subscribe so that my videos could get on the scrolly. I told, I think I told you in my daily message that one day I was looking on YouTube and I saw my face, <laughs> my video on the scroll. I was like, oh my God. I was just so happy. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I felt famous for like one second. <laughs> um, but it is more about getting my messages out there. Um, it's important. Yeah, and spirit is saying yes that it's important that these messages get out there to you. So you know, I record on my phone, and my phone is about to cut off. So I love you, Capricorns. I love you. I love you. Um, and. I, there was a lot of messages in there for a lot of Cappy. So I please, I hope you can take it and apply it to your life. Um, I didn't get to get to the other deck. So I might come back with a bonus. You have to leave in the comments if you want me to give you a bonus. The last card here is finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. This is for the people who are overly working and not paying attention to your love life. OK, you have to really pay attention. You have to have balance. Pay attention to your spouse. OK. All right, Cappies, I love